I was going through some of my articles, old articles that I'd come across before, and I come across this one. And I thought I'd share with you. Um, and it's a title, an exclusive documents reveal NASA's internal struggles over renaming Webb te uh, Telescope. Internal NASA documents obtained by Nature's uh, reveal fresh details about the agency's investigation last year into whether to rename its flagship James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. A group of astronomers had led a community petition to change the name, alleging that the telescope's namesake, former NASA chief James Webb, had been complicit in the persecution and firing of gay and lesbian federal employees during his career in the US government in the 1950s and 60s. In September, NASA announced that it would not change the name of the telescope because it had no evidence to support the allegations. But the agency controversially did not release a, a report summarising its investigation or decision making. The internal documents obtained by Nature and others through Freedom of Information request that while making its decision, the agency was aware of a 1969 appeal ruling suggesting that it had been customarily at NASA to fire people over suspicions about their sexual orientation. The case involved a former NASA employee who had been fired in 1963 because supervisors thought he was gay. This was when James Webb was lead the leading agency, was leading the agency, sorry. NASA's acting chief historian Brian Oldham says he has not found any information in NASA's archives to suggest that firing people for their sexual orientation was agency policy under Webb. He had a contract uh, he and a contract historian who, uh, whose identity has not yet been disclosed will soon visit their other historical archives to continue to look into Webb's history. These archives have been cl uh, closed owing to the COVID-19 pandemic, but will open again in the next few weeks. Odom says he will share information ab about what the historian finds where, with the astronomy community. But the Freedom of Information documents shed light on how NASA had looked into the matter so far. The email correspondences uh, paint a stark portrait of how astronomers outside the LGBTQ plus community dismiss the experience of the, their queer colleagues and make it plain to see that discrimination against queer people is alive and well in, in astronomy today, say the four astronomers who led the community petition. Um, and it goes on to say uh, it, um, the title agency influencer ran, Webb ran NASA between 1961 and 68 when the Apollo program sent uh, astronauts to the moon was at the height of his development. He died in 1992. Another former NASA administrator, Sean O'Keefe, named the telescope after James Webb in 2002 to recognise his leadership in government and his commitment to making science a key part of the agency. We wouldn't have gotten to the moon if he had did as when we did in 1969 without his leadership, says Barbara Webb, who is James Webb's daughter-in-law. And the telescope is an amazing instrument, the greatest scientific and engineering instrument ever created. It's very fitting that it's named after him. And that part of it goes on. Um, and I want to go down to where it says trouble, uh, troubling findings. The new Freedom of Information documents are only a partial glimpse into NASA's decision making. See the PDF supplementary uh, information below. Um, I'll post a link to this document in the uh, in the description so you can have a look for yourselves. They encompass some of the correspondence between NASA employees about the agency's investigation into Web from the 1st of January to the 30th of October last year. Nature filed its request because the agency had released few details about its September decision. Although the documents reveal that key decisions were made in meetings and not over email, they still show agency's officials wrestling with how to investigate the allegations and control public messaging over the controversy. As early as April 2021, an external researcher flagged wording from the 1969 court ruling to NASA officials. It came in the case of Clifford Norton, who had appealed against a being fired from NASA for immoral, indecent and disgraceful conduct. In the decision, the chief judge wrote that the person who had, been, who had fired Norton has said that he was a good employee 
and asked whether there was any way to keep him on to keep him on whoever he consulted in the personal office told him that it was custom within the agency to fire people for homosexual conduct i think you will find this paragraph to be troubling wrote the, the external researcher eric smith the jwt's program scientist at nasa in washington dc a custom within the agency sounds pretty bad no doubt a white paper drawn up within nasa uh, and described as not meant for public release says this shows that nasa had decided that removal of homosexual employees would be its policy they had a choice during webb's tenure as administrator to uh, set or change that policy and i'll go on down to lack of rationale uh, in October, after NASA announced that it would not rename the telescope, Hertz summarized the community reaction in an email to another NASA employee. The problem for most of the astrophysics community is not the decision itself, but the lack of rationale to explain why this is the appropriate decision. He also pointed out that NASA had not transmitted the decision broadly, but rather emailed Nelson, Nelson's one-sentence statement to a small group of news outlets, including Nature. This is hardly the kind of transparent process that gives the external community confidence, he wrote. Uh, Welkovitz and their colleagues go much further. This is harm from community as we've committed substantive time and, and which are, uh, we are passionate about, they say. In November, the Astrophysics Advisory Committee, a group of uh, independent researchers who advised NASA, asked Hertz for a written report on NASA's decision. The rationale and exp explanation from the agencies uh, was wholly insufficient, non-transparent uh, and uninformative regarding the naming decisions com communicated to the astronomical community and other stakeholders regarding the GEMS Webb-based telescope. The committee wrote it has not yet received the report. So, as I said, I'll leave a link to uh, this article uh, in the description and have a look for yourself. So what I want to know from yourselves is what do you think of this? Do you think NASA were discriminatory during that time? Uh, was James Webb responsible for that ultimately? If so, do you think that James Webb Space Telescope should be renamed? Should it be renamed to JWST? Or should it be renamed to anything else? Or do you think it should be just left as it is? Let me know in the chat below and let's get a conversation going about it. So until the next time, take care.